Having to deny a rental applicant is never a happy job. Unfortunately, we do not live in a perfect world. Poor decisions are made, mistakes happen, and sometimes a potential tenant falls short of your requirements. It's ultimately your decision, but if you decide to offer the rental under modified terms or deny the applicant, you are required to provide the following in writing. One, an adverse action notice. Two, a summary of rights under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And three, any additional forms required in your state. The adverse action notice must, at minimum, include the contact information of the screening agency that provided the background report, a statement that the agency did not make the decision to take the adverse action and cannot give the specific reason for it, a notice of the applicant's right to dispute the accuracy of the information provided by the agency, and the applicant's right to receive a free report from the agency upon the request within 60 days. If the applicant disagrees with the completeness or accuracy of his or her consumer report, they must initiate a consumer dispute with the providing agency. The easier it is for an applicant to file a dispute, the less likely they will be upset with you, thus protecting yourself from a potential lawsuit. For more information, read the full article by visiting the blog or clicking on the link below.